show you how to use uh, hotkeys with Martin Life Jackie. You can use your keyboard. Uh, you can assign your keyboard. Each key you can assign to the different function here. Uh, to do that, you go to setup hotkeys. First of all, you need to enable the hotkeys. Then you can go to edit hotkeys. Here, you have different functions. Um, usually, you want to assign blackout restore uh, to the hotkey. I usually assign it to the space. Also, I assign fade out, fade in function. I'll show you what it does. Basically, when you have that assigned, I select the pictures, I turn them on. Um, then you can see what it does. When I hit the space, it blackouts. The picture blackouts. I can just flash it like this with the space button. Then I'm, I assign fade in, fade out function. It's to, to make the fade, fade uh, the dimmer uh, master intensity to go down and up. I just press minus, and it slowly goes down. I press plus, it slows it come in. Uh, you can change the dim in, dim out time from here from the master intensity. You have the zimmers here, and here is the fade time. You can change it here, as, and it changes the speed of fade in, fade out. It's very useful if you wanna black out not too fast, and you wanna black out nicely, you just fade out. And Or, or if you, you can also uh, fade in very nicely. So your show is smooth. It's gonna look smooth. Um, also, sometimes I use it like if it's a slow, if I use uh, moving heads on a stage, if it's a slow movement, I don't want them to change cues too fast. If I just wanna change the cue, I usually fade out nicely and slowly. I change the cue and then I fade in. So everything looks smooth and nice. Like, uh, like it's supposed to, to be. So anyway, hotkeys. With the hotkeys, you can also assign sequence flashes. For example, um, you made a strobe or random strobe. If you have like 10 pictures, you made like a random strobing uh, sequence. Then you, you can assign it to the you can assign it, you see like here, I created a stroke random function and assign it uh, to A, to letter A key on my keyboard and also I made a random stroke, I assigned it, uh, and actually random I assigned it to key A and uh, like a full fast stroke I assigned it to key S. So, and then with the flash, I can just strobe, I can just press A and it's gonna random strobe all my features that I pre-programmed and if I press S, it's gonna be like full, full fast strobe. It's very useful to strobe at any time, you know, you can just press, you, you have like a program or queue running and then you want something fast going on, you wanna just strobe, you can just hold the S key and it's gonna strobe. Uh, also, you can assign cues. If you have cues, you created cues, like movements, some different cues with the color changes. You can assign them to to the keypad. Like, for example, you can assign to one, two, three, and, and so forth. Uh, you can assign it to different numbers. Uh, then you you don't have to go to cue list and select the cue you, if you know which cues you want to use, you can just assign them to the keypad here uh, and just select, press 1 and it's going to be a specific cue, you press 2, it's different cue, you see how I change it, just by pressing uh, the numbers.
it's very very easy very easy to use and it's nice you can you don't have to go and scroll through and select the double click the queue you can just click the number fast and select the queue also with the hotkeys you can uh, do the ground cues as well you can add, 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 add here also there are many other uh, functions that you can add here for example in sequences um, sequences statics usually I also add statics here because I use statics for the effects, like uh, put, I put colors, breeze, board, and I can uh, find statics here. Uh, statics, yeah. Find statics. Uh -huh. So static one, I can put F1, for example. I press uh, select, I press F1, then I press assign, and it assigns to the F1. Then I can continue adding them to F's functions, like this. And usually I uh, also assign to F12, I assign uh, release uh, static if, if I got confused I can just easily press the release and it uh, releases all of the statics because statics are all on and off and sometimes you can press them like this and you don't know at which static you are you can just release them all of them uh, I first have to accept hotkeys then they're gonna work Let me share it. Let me close it yeah now it's works so F1 I have white and I can mark it on the key, key keyboard uh, colors if I want. I can write labels and stick it to it. Have wash, breeze, and I can just go like this. And if I got confused, I can just release all of them. So it's very useful. Where else here? There are some other options here in the statics. You can assign follow spot, some intensity, fade out times. You can just go through and see. There are many different options, but, but this is the main things I use. Also, I would use uh, bump uh, function. I would do like bumps. Uh, I do bump master and I do bump sub masters, uh, sub faders. So. I can, for example, assign my moving heads to bump sub one, or I can assign old, old moving heads to sub one and uh, even moving heads to sub two, and then I can play odd and even with the faders. I'll show you how it is. For example, I can uh, I can lower the master fader, the master intensity fader. Then I can, when I assign the bumps, I can just play like this. I can just bump the faders. Or if I assign on in, uh, and even to the moving heads, I can do old even, old even. For the dimmers. And I, I can continue like this. I can add some, if I have different fixture types, I can add here. To add uh, your groups to the uh, to the faders here, you you sh go to the groups. You see all the all the fixtures is here on on uh, master basically. Then you want to add, for example, odd fixtures to dimmer one. You select your odd fixture, uh, and then you press assign and save. And then even you want to add to second group, you select your even fixtures and you. Press assign and save. Then I'll show you how it works in uh, real life. I have my fixture selected, dimmer up, dimmer not up, but they're not on because the master intensity is off. So now if I play, play with odd and even, 
goes like this. I can play like this. And I can go with the rhythm of music. I don't have to like do BPM, select any BPM or do some special cue. I can just play live like this. Or full, all of them together.